Amen. At this time, uh, I'm going to lead us in our children's message for today. So if you're watching on the screen and you have children, I invite them to come forward. Um, and for all of you who are gathered this day, you might want to get out of a chair because I'm going to be inviting us to do motions in just a sec. In just a, a, a second. Um, but first, I wanted to share with those as you come close uh, a little beginning to this story. So for you all, you children who are joining us this day, you remember that on Easter, Jesus rose from the grave. Jesus defeated death itself, and in doing so, made it so that we can live forever with God and those we love. But after Jesus rose from the dead, people from all over the world started hearing news about him. There was one person in particular who wanted to share with everyone that Jesus loves you. His name was Paul, and he went to all new lands, even different countries where they spoke different languages, sharing the message, Jesus loves you. He also wanted to tell them more about who Jesus was. A lot of people assume Jesus was like gods and idols in their own land, that he was lived in big temples and had huge golden statues made of him. But Paul said, Jesus is not like that. Instead, Paul said, we see Jesus, God's own son, not by looking outward at big, expensive gold stuff, but by instead looking inward and seeing Jesus in our own lives. He said, we see Jesus best of all when we live and move as God wants us to live and move. We see Jesus when we follow Jesus, when we love others and care for others and do our energy in great ways. Following Jesus is an action. And the more we act like Jesus, the more we see and know Jesus better. So for all of us this day, I want us to invite us to do some actions, get out of our chairs or wherever we're sitting and act out the story of God for us today. There's a lot of actions that are in scripture and the story of God. And I'm going to have us act out a lot of the stories of how people over time have followed God, starting with Father Abraham. So one of the first people called that, that God called was named Abraham. Abraham told people to walk, or God told Abraham to walk to a new land and follow God there. So wherever you are, if you can walk with me like you're Abraham, walking to the new promised land where you'd have lots of offspring and followers. Now, Abraham had a grandson named Jacob. And Jacob one day ran away from home and had this dream at night where he saw a ladder coming down from heaven. And on that ladder, he saw angels climbing up and down and knew that God is present here among us. So I want you to pretend like you're climbing a ladder with Jacob. Climb, 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 climb. After Jacob came someone named Moses. You've probably heard of Moses. Moses was called by God at a burning bush to free God's people out of slavery in Egypt. And Moses led them out of Egypt. And he did so by taking them through the desert and they got to the Red Sea and the sea was there and he had to part the Red Sea. So he lifted his staff high in the air. So pretend like you're lifting your staff high in the air, just like Moses. Following Moses was a person named Joshua. And Joshua was a spy for God, seeking out this new land where people would live. So let's pretend like we're seeking out a new land, like we're spying. After Joshua was Ruth. Ruth followed God by caring for her mother-in-law, Naomi. And she did it by an act called gleaning, which was picking up food and then sharing it with her mother-in-law, Naomi. So can you do that? Pick up a ton of food as big as your arms can bring and then share it with your friends and family and those who are hungry. Hannah is another person God called. Hannah prayed to God one day in the temple, asking for help, asking for a family and to be a part of God's big story. And so I invite you to put your hands together in prayer, just like Hannah. Following Hannah was King David. King David played music and sang songs to God, and that made God very happy. So I invite you, if you are a good air guitarist, or even if you're not like me, 
I invite you to get your air guitar out and strum a few chords because whenever you make music, whether it's through song or guitar or just banging on stuff, you make God happy when you do it for God. Choo, 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 choo. After David came Jonah. Jonah was a prophet of God, but Jonah tried to run away from God when God said, go to these people who are scary for you. Jonah fled away, but while he was fleeing, he was on a boat and a big storm came and Jonah jumped out of the boat and turned around swimming because he knew God wanted him to go back. So let's get together. Let's pretend like we're on a boat. There are big waves coming, big, big waves. And what do we do? We jump out of the boat and we swim and we swim and we swim and we swim, just like Jonah, going back to the people God called us to go to. Now, Jesus had parents named Mary and Joseph. And when Jesus was born, they wrapped him in swaddling cloth and put him in a manger. Now, moms and dads, even today, show their love and care and safety in that same way. So let's pretend like we're holding a baby and you swaddle, swaddle with cloth, wrap it around, wrap it around, and then lay that baby in a crib or a manger. That's how we show love even today. Well, when Jesus got older, Jesus loved welcoming children just like you into his arms. So I want you to do the same thing. So put your arms out and give Jesus a big hug. Arms out, big hug. So the next thing Jesus did was he broke bread and he fed uh, bread to lots of people. So let's pretend like we're breaking bread and we're feeding it to people. Breaking bread, feeding it to people, just like Jesus did. And Jesus also welcomes you, even us today, to follow and live like him. He says, come, be my disciple. So wave forward, just like Jesus saying, come and follow me. And the last action for us is to take that step and follow Jesus. So the final thing I want you to do is put your arms out and say, yes, Jesus, I will follow you. Yes, Jesus, I will follow you. So thank you so much for joining with me in those actions for today. Let us say a prayer to close for our children's time. Dear God, thank you that when I move, and live, you are there. Thank you for all the ways you call me to move. Help me act like you act. Help me love, help me care, help me share, help me pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.